Okay, so um, in our piece again, um, there's lots of different social groups and different groups of people represented in the thing. Um, the first one, and the main one, since that's what our protagonist is, is women. So in horror films, generally, um, like conventionally, they're represented as very vulnerable. They're usually the victims. Yeah. And so in, our, in that way, our film was quite conventional, since our main character um, suffered through the whole thing with mental illness. And um, kind of, she was kind of tormented the whole way through. Yeah. It's like um, by her religion and the sort of demons, which kind of showed how she projected this on yeah. the world around her. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, since she was suffering the whole time, um, that kind of that's quite conventional. Yeah, I think we could have we we I mean we could have done it with a with a with like a male character, um, but I think two factors kind of into that one. Uh, we couldn't find any part willing male friends mm -hmm. that would do that, and we had a lot of girl actress kind of friends that mm -hmm. would play the part pretty well. <laughs> Um, and two, I think it was just kind of, I think maybe it was, it was really about one of our, our, uh, like, links to the, um, kind of conventions of horror, I mean, because there, there wasn't that many, to be honest, um, I think we do have, we did have a pretty different kind of, uh, horror film, I guess, because we mm. weren't trying to make, I mean, we were trying to make it horror, but we were more trying to make it, a, like, a psychological kind of thriller mm. on that kind of spectrum of you know on that scale of on yeah. the spectrum we didn't want than like we didn't want like gore and yeah. shock we wanted it to be more interesting yeah exactly because i mean they can come across as quite cheesy as mm. well and not the biggest horror fan <laughs> so i don't think i'd be that comfortable with making one of those kind of films like i don't, I don't know i would I don't know. no i don't think so nah. <laughs> Not for us. <laughs> no, exactly. Okay, so um, we also included uh, this. This is another pretty um, unconventional thing that we like put in our film, um, and that was making the demons um, have mixed genders. Because um, usually, the demons that you usually see are, are, are mainly male, or they're like extremely masculine or extremely feminine. Um, so you have the kind of deep male voice, um, like in The Exorcist, where she's a, where it's a woman, but a, a male voice comes out, um, making them quite, um, quite dom making the demons seem quite dominant. Um, so you have that, but all, you can also have like a kind of creepy little girl coming out the screen, like in the ring. Um, so that's the kind of like the two mm. kind of things. So we kind of wanted to put it in the middle. Yeah. Um, I think mainly, again, to be kind of different. Mm. Um, yeah. So, yeah. We didn't want to go for these two extremes, which they usually are, which is either, like you said, masculine, which makes it yeah. seem powerful, or it's it's always a little girl, which yeah. is kind of weak, which yeah. is why it's so scary. And we wanted to we wanted to make the demon, since, since we're thinking about her, like our protagonist story as a kind of, we're thinking about her, sort of the human side of her. Yeah. And like her mind, so we wanted to make the demons kind of humanised as well, yeah. I guess. because I guess like, it's a projection of what she's thinking, right? So, yeah, yeah it would be what, I mean, if it's what she's thinking. I mean, personally, I wouldn't make the demons all men or all female. Mm. I mean, if I was in that situation, it'd be more kind of mixed, because you could see, like, in the, I mean, if it's in the church, there's a lot of men and women in the church, so, mm -hmm. you know. That'd be that's why. Mm. Um, yeah. Um, yep. Um, so we also represent religion in our film. Yeah. Um, so um, in lots of horror films, kind of Christianity in particular is often represented as quite a quite evil in a way. Yeah. Like there's lots of evil links to it, and we didn't want to. Like our main character is kind of. She kind of religion is a big point in her life and it's a big focus of the film but at the same time we don't want we didn't want to 
be like this yeah, religion this is, is what's evil. bad. Exactly. Yeah, it's bad. We wanted to show its relationship with her instead. Yeah, exactly. So I guess it was kind of a conventional representation, but at the same time, it was also different to that. Yeah, because it wasn't technically... Te it, technically, it wasn't the church. It was her and her mm. interpretation of the church. So it wasn't putting it into a completely... It wasn't putting the church into a bad light at all because it, that was that was just there, you know, the... Mm. the not the church, the Christianity as a whole into mm. a bad, like, role. That was just there, you know, that's... You, different people can interpret Christianity in different ways. And um, we just chose to, for our main character, that she interpreted it in a negative way. So it's not like we... It wasn't mm. quite... It wasn't quite conventional. I thought that yeah. was quite different. Mm. So, yeah. yeah.